Okay, back on the yard sale hunt for real this time. Those of you who don't know, I'm Gate City Paul. Um, I try, <laughs> try to go to yard sales, flea markets, thrift shops, pawn shops, <sighs> peruse Facebook Marketplace, trying to find wheels and deals and steals, <laughs> and I try to make videos. Kind of tell you the truth, I've lost, I've lost some motivation, not necessarily to make videos, but to go out yard sell shopping every weekend and it's not that you know I just don't like it anymore or um, you know it's not fun anymore or anything like that it's just that I've been busy with other adventures other activities other adventures uh, things like that recently did some traveling um, spent some time in Arizona for uh, a family member uh, hanging out with them um, then just other travels, uh, some work stuff, uh, things like that. One of my uh, new adventures is that uh, me and my significant other, uh, me and her are trying to go to all of the national parks. And I realize that this is a very, very bad camera angle, half in the shade, half in the sun. Again, I'm not a professional YouTuber. You guys understand. So those things have taken up some of my weekends. It's not to say that I haven't um, you know, been going to yards. I just haven't been going to that many and um, haven't really shot a lot of footage. So this video um, is um, kind of a mesh of... Ooh, lots of potholes there. Sorry about that. This video is a mesh of a bunch of clips and videos from some previous yard sales that I have not uh, put a video out about. So those will be like at the beginning of this video and towards the end of this video, we'll come back to uh, present day. One of the other things is that I've actually been purging a lot of inventory. I've been uh, getting rid of stuff that I have been, that's been posted for, you know, a good long while, um, reformatting some of the sales and don't get me started on eBay and some of the changes that it's made and it made you know, life difficult or reseller life difficult. For instance, did you know that they changed international shipping and all of your business uh, templates or your uh, business policies for shipping? If you had international shipping, it changed all that and uh, didn't change it, automatically change it to the new international shipping. So if you weren't paying attention, you were just going through making your listing, you clicked on the business policy for the shipping that you wanted and you click the submit button and it changed your uh, at least for me it changed all of my shipping to two-day priority now if you've ever looked at my shop not primarily but a lot of my listings are you know low-end sports cards cheap sports cards uh, three dollar and you know three to twenty dollar sports cards I offer international shipping on those and so when they changed the international shipping it knocked out all of those listings so it made three dollar sports cards have a six dollar priority shipping nobody's buying that so I just wonder how many sales that I miss out on because eBay changed something and affected my shipping rates and a buyer said nope I'm not paying that much for shipping because I don't pay that much for shipping for a cheap card so if you offer international shipping, I highly suggest that you go check your business policies and make sure eBay isn't um, affecting your sales. It's the pleasant way to say it. All right, so let's go to past videos. And then on the back end of those videos, I'll add the videos from today. Saturday, I'm gonna actually go out and hit some yard sales for pretty much the for our first time this yard sale season I've hit like you know just kind of like on my way to places and things like that um, you know stop but this time this is my purpose my purpose is to hit some yard sales today um, <clears throat> I don't know what it looks like today um, I've seen a few signs out 
uh, over the week and uh, for advertising for sales. And uh, a family member texted me and said, hey, there's a big community one across the street from me uh, tomorrow, which they texted me yesterday. Anyways, so we're going to go check uh, those out. Hopefully, we'll find uh, some good deals today, and I will share them with you. First stop of the day is this inflatable T-Rex uh, costume. Um, pay two bucks for it. Uh, these things are good uh, on local marketplaces, uh, especially around Halloween, because uh, it's an adult size. And most times adults, you know, they get invited to a last second party, need a costume, don't want to spend a bunch of money. Uh, so you put this up on, you know, Facebook Marketplace, something like that. You know, ask, you know, 15, 20 bucks for it and uh, it'll sell. One of these days I'll listen to myself and tell myself to uh, stop buying uh, golf clubs, um, especially left-handed ones, because they're so hard to sell, but, you know, I'll listen to myself one of these days, uh, you know, because I've got a ton of golf clubs, but I don't seem to move as quickly as I thought they would. I'm in this little uh, community sale, and I think I need to get out of here because there's a there's a group of guys, it's like four of them, and they're just being bullies. <laughs> it's just plain and simple. They're, they're just pushing their way past people, you know, literally almost shoving people down to get to stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to move on out of this area because I'm getting upset. I've watched these guys literally push their way past people. The last example was they pushed their way past a, a woman who was getting ready to uh, pick up a box of board games. Just board games is all it was. And a guy come in and swooped in and picked the box up and asked him how much they wanted for the box. And I just, you know, and I've... If I was with that lady, I would have said something. I probably shouldn't have said something. But, like, I could tell that she was getting ready to go look in that box. And, I'm again, don't do that type of stuff. Don't be a bully in the yard sales. Don't impede on other people's, uh, you know, deals. Uh, if you see somebody looking at something, you know, let them be. Let them, you know, work out their deal. If it doesn't work, you know, th then step in. But you I mean don't don't get in the way of other people. That, that's just rude. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't have words right now. So words are struggling me right now. Hey, remember a few videos ago where I said I uh, wasn't um, gonna buy um, clothing uh, as much anymore, except when you find uh, vintage race shirts, uh, NASCAR shirts, and vintage hockey New York Rangers. Uh, gear um, that's a pickup all day long it's the same cell are these little battery operated uh, Lamborghinis um, you put the battery in them and uh, turn them on and they just kind of wheel around these I believe are from like the 80s I believe um, I just I remember having some of these when I was a kid and always being fun uh, to you know mess around with put two of them together and see how many times they crash together these ones look like they're in pretty good condition i don't think that's what this gentleman did with them so uh, again i paid uh, three bucks for all three tried to see there is a maker on this well it's not it's a cordon bread a cast iron pan it's made in the usa uh at number eight there CB might be the maker, but I'm not sure what that is. It also has a D at the top. So anyways, for three bucks, we'll take a chance. I just realized that I put all shot all these videos in portrait mode. So that's going to make it fun to edit. <clears throat> anyways, I'm headed out of this one. Uh, got a golf club uh, topper. It's uh, Callaway branded. These things are good to pick up if you get them for cheap, like a dollar. And a sealed Minecraft, well, too much clear. Uh, it's a sealed Minecraft board game. Um, I'm taking a chance on it. I paid five bucks for it. I don't know. I, I know Minecraft's a very popular game. Uh, uh, the young one uh, used to play a lot of Minecraft. I may still, I don't remember, but uh, it's a sealed game. So, 
again, uh, probably a good candidate for uh, Amazon as well, if I'm not gated. Found this really cool Halloween uh, candy bowl. Uh, it's really cool. Um, it was kind of funny uh, because there was two ladies and they were like, uh, I asked one, she said, oh, that's the other ladies. I asked the other lady and she said, oh, no, that's the other ladies. And they kind of, uh, you know, went back and forth about, oh, that's yours. No, that's yours. And finally, I just kind of stepped back and finally the other lady's like, okay, well, what do you give me for it? So I told her I'd give her two bucks for it. And she's like, well, I really wanted four for it. I'm like, wait a minute, just a few minutes ago, you didn't even know it was yours. So anyways, I, I gave her four bucks. So I think that's cool. It's uh, from the, I like the, uh, probably 80s, early 90s. Um, so anyways, it was just a, it's a really cool hand-painted porcelain uh, candy bowl. Finally found some cards, but uh, not sports cards. Um, it's like this little booklet of Disney uh, cards. I'm not sure the age on them. Um, I have not seen these before, um, but this it's not full, but it's got quite a few. Um, they might be, did this say Family Portrait Disney? Um, what's that say? Sorry. Uh, produced and distributed by Impact Marketing. So I, I don't know. Um, the woman said that they were her kids, you know, and their kids are in their 40s now, and they were there when they were kids. So. So I'm assuming they're from the 80s, uh, maybe early 90s. We'll see. All right, last weekend's Lee Archels didn't work out too well. Not that they didn't work out too well. There just wasn't that money, wasn't that good stuff. So I decided to put two weeks of yard sale videos into one. And it's uh, almost, uh, it's about quarter to seven now. Uh, we're going to get out a little bit early. Hopefully find some of those early deals. Use the yard sale treasure map, uh, scoped out. Mm, it's like three that I want to go to today, and we'll hit some in between there. It is another cloudy, overcast day, calling for rain, but I think it's later in the day, so hopefully we'll find some stuff today. So much for it raining later in the day. It started to rain as I got to the uh, first yard sale. I actually was here last week. Um, I bought, I think, I hope I got it on camera, but I bought uh, a cast iron like cornbread maker or, or cornbread pan or something like that. Um, this is their uh, third sale in a row there, or third sale in a weekend apparently is what the lady was telling me. Uh, they're cleaning out the house for a relative. Anyways, um, so I did get a Wii. I put it in the back already because it's raining and, and some games and um, a couple like graphic novel books. They're like uh, the anime, uh, things like that. There were... I got them on a throw-in, uh, so we didn't really pay anything for it. Uh, but I got um, a Wii, um, a bunch of games, uh, and some anime books for $35. Yeah, it's getting kind of too wet. Uh, however, did find a pair of Harley-Davidson uh, branded jeans. All right, they're straight leg, 4230s. So... Uh, Keep finding stuff and it'll all stay out but um most people of course have it in their garage that's why they're called garage sales so uh but again not, not a lot of people out or have stuff out the weather has washed the day up it's raining pretty pretty steadily now uh, it was splotchy for a while but now it's raining pretty steadily and i have not found a yard sale in over 45 minutes so I'm going to call it a day and I'm just going to go home and, you know, process through some of the stuff that I have. So more than likely, uh, this is going to be held over and combined with next week's yard sale. Or if I can find anything tomorrow, but I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Slight change of plans. Uh, I forgot I had bid on some stuff in a local uh, auction uh, on their website and uh, totally forgot I bid on the stuff and they sent me an email this morning. I was like, hey, uh, you going to come pick your stuff up that you won yesterday? <laughs> so, uh, totally forgot about it. So, uh, we're going to pick that stuff up. Uh, it's a bunch of, like, uh, it's some Funkos and low-value stuff. Uh, didn't pay much at all. I've, you know, got a good amount of stuff for, like, 
12 bucks or something like that. I can't remember. It, it was really cheap, and I got like you know, eight or ten things. So uh, we're going to head out there. It's a bit of a drive. It's a couple towns over, so uh, we'll go catch that stuff, and I'll show you that stuff, too. Here is my auction haul. I got all of this here for 12 bucks uh and a little bit of tax but uh about 14 50 something anyways uh anyway so i got two bags of those uh i think it's mistake uh Mistayo, uh motorcycles they're like harley davidson's and um some other sports bikes or and, and things like that um two big old bags of them so i think i got both of those for like a buck a piece i think i i don't remember exactly I, I think that's what it is but it's like 12 bucks across everything funkos and a spawn character i didn't notice it but the auction listing did say that damaged box this box is got some uh you know it's got some heavy damage so i need to find uh maybe take this guy out and sell him as a loose figure maybe i don't know i need to see if that is anything uh worth loose figure uh but then yeah then i got these five funkos like I said, it was like 14 bucks or so uh, after taxes is what I got for this entire lot. And uh, perspective, profit, I don't know. Those motorcycles down there, uh, I'm not sure uh, what, you know, if they sell individually or if I should sell them, I don't know, in a lot again uh, on eBay. Because, again, this was just like a local auction, a local auction site. Um, guy has a store uh, and... He just, uh, every time he has inventory that doesn't move because he doesn't do anything online other than his little auction, I know he'll throw some stuff up starting at a dollar and, and you know, lets people bid on it. So, anyways, it's a good little haul for, you know, less than 15 bucks. Back to present me. Two yard sales down, nothing. First one found something, and I usually don't do this, but uh, this needs some cleaning. It's got pet hair all over it but it is a new tags 2000 uh sideshow bob um i believe uh, and i have to do a little more work but i think this is a um exclusive to the universal studios park uh from what i th i think i'm not positive on that so uh pay two bucks for it but it's got like cat hair like all not all over it but kind of embedded in it so i'm gonna have to uh, you know, get a uh, roller, uh, what are those, you know, those roller thingies out, try to get all this cat hair off of it. So two bucks, not sure how much they go for. I'll put a comp in here somewhere. Second thing is this blue Patagonia uh, sweater. Played three bucks uh, for this extra large woman's. Again, same thing. It It's not as bad as that doll, but uh, this got some cat hair on it. So I'm going to have to get a lint roller, lint roller, lint roller. That's what it's called. Uh, get a lint roller. Uh, but again, these things go for like, you know, 20, 30 bucks. So, you know, three bucks into that is a pretty good deal. I know, I know. Videos back, I said it was getting out of clothing. Um, but again, I'm still into clothing if it's vintage and something I know that is a quick seller. I'm, I'm not buying clothes that are gonna sit around for a while. You know, one of those like, hey, I think this will sell. It's, it's I know this will sell. I've sold in the past. I've sold it quick. Oh, yard sale sign. Uh, oh, there's another yard sale sign. I got to turn around. But anyways, uh, yeah, quick seller. Know that it will sell. You know, for a, a good amount. Nothing that will. You know, it's going to sit around and you know take up space for a while. Because remember, fellow resellers, we are not in the storage business. We are in the selling business. We have to move our inventory quick. Okay, next yard sale. Pretty good scores here. Um, I actually had to come back to this one uh, from earlier because it didn't start till uh, 8 o'clock. So, first thing I got, um, you guys know if you're in the resale game, shelving and storage is, you know, key. You got to have somewhere to store all your stuff, shelving to put your stuff. Um, I took a picture of it. I got both these here for nine bucks. I want just a two shelf and then the black frame ones are, it looks like four shelves. So, I mean, you guys know how expensive I think those black frame ones, I mean, those are at least 30 bucks in the store. Uh, I'm not sure about the plastic uh, ones, but I have ones kind of similar to that. So I'm hoping to stack those and uh, I'll make some bigger shelves uh, in uh, my storage. Okay, next, I paid a quarter a piece for these, so 75 cents. 
is a Kermit, um, a Miss Piggy, uh, and a Fozzie. Uh, they are from, they are Simon's Marketing. Uh, they are from 1987. I paid a quarter a piece for these things. Uh, who knows the value, but I mean, 25 cents, you know, uh, I'm sure it's more than 25 cents. Uh, next are some Legos. I paid $8 for some sealed Legos. Um, this is a Marvel's Thanos, I believe. Uh, paid two bucks for that one. Uh, here is a Harry Potter. I mean, Harry Potter. I paid three bucks for that one. And then a Thor Marvel one, Love and Thunder. Paid uh, three bucks for that one as well. So, again, you know, less than ten bucks for three sets of Legos. I get ten bucks a piece for them. You know, yeah, I'm gonna make a pretty decent profit. Here are some things I picked up at previous yard sales that I didn't capture on video. I bought this lot of fishing poles for 20 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a good deal uh, on fishing poles. Uh, they, the ones that they, they range from like, uh, you know, 10 to $20 in that range. There's no like big ticket one or one that like I would, you know, post on eBay or anything like that. So this is mainly for like Facebook marketplace. Um, so I put an ad up uh, for on my Facebook marketplace. I uh, got a few people, you know, questioning, you know, hey, can I come look at them? You know, sure. And then they don't respond. If those of you who sell on Facebook marketplace know the deal. So again, I paid 20 bucks for these. They sell between 10 and 15 bucks a piece. So, or 10 and 20 bucks a piece, excuse me. So, I mean, there's be some profit uh, as soon as I sell one of them. You know, one of the higher, not higher end, but uh, one of the better ones, then I'll, be, you know, make profit on the rest of them. During one of our jaunts to a, a national park, um, I've stopped at a few yard sales and I got this Bart Simpson talking doll. Um, it's in pretty rough condition. I paid 50 cents for it. Um, I'm actually really thinking about like cutting the head off of it because the voice box is not very good. It doesn't, um, you know, it's not very clear. You know, it's, of course it says like cowabunga dude or eat my shorts or something like that. I can't remember what it says. But um, I'm actually kind of thinking about like just taking the head off of it and mounting it on something um, and it being like a decoration piece for somebody who may want it. Um, I haven't really looked at the comps yet, but it's not in that great of a condition. But uh, 50 cents again, it was, you know, not a bad buy. And then I bought this Charlotte Hornets hat. Um, you know, it was three bucks. Um, uh, hats like that are, you know, these hats tend to sell between, you know, 10 and 20 bucks, somewhere in that price range. I haven't looked up this one specifically. Um, I'll put some comps in here and hopefully I'm right in the 10 to $20 price range on that stuff. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, video. Uh, I have to wrap up early, uh, take care of some family business. Um, I can't remember what I had in the last cut, um, but I bought this. Here's some pictures. It's like a Transco racetrack. I'm not sure the year. Um, the cars are in pieces, so I might have to park the tracks out. I didn't know that. I just looked at the bag uh, with the cars in it and figured, hey, they're all together. But um, I don't know. Maybe that's the way they come. I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit of research. And then um, I think that was everything except. Uh, so I did get... So I got a box of these um, magic cards. They're all decks. They're all uh, look like they're played with. I know enough to get in trouble, and I think that's what happened. I think uh, I think I think I did overpay for it. Um, I, I should have offered less. I did offer less than what they were asking, but I, after a kind of perusing through it just a little bit here, I, I should have offered way way less, and maybe got in the middle of what i finally did pay and what i was originally probably should have offered um, but i think i overpaid on this um, my thought was i was going to quick flip it um, and i might still do that um, take it to a local shop that deals in like magic the gathering and things like that and see if i could flip it to them um, but just kind of looking at it they're not as old as i thought they were um, i think the oldest debt goes back to 2009 um, i i thought i had saw that it one of the decks said 96 but um or one of the cards said 96 but i think that's just was the trademark year so i'm pretty sure i did overpay for them uh so if i can get my money back out of them uh that's probably uh what i'm gonna do uh just to kind of quick flip them um if you have time to like search these cards one by one by one it is uh, worth it but when you have this many um, it, it's very, very time consuming. Um, so 
probably not going to uh, do that. I'm probably going to do the quick flip later on today. I'm going to go buy this magic shop that I know. Um, magic the Gathering shop. It's not like a magic, you know, rabbit out of a hat type of magic shop. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this short uh, video. Um, and I hope to, of course, produce more. And if you could, hit that thumbs up button. Let's me know that you do like, still like my channel, and still want me to put out content. With that, have a good day. Be safe.